Hey folks, Tony Lockhart here. And in this video, what we're gonna do is talk about doing some digital painting. So um, before you get started with all of this, you wanna get nice and comfortable. And in order to do so, what I think you should do is make a determination on your setup. So whether you have your screen facing you and you're looking directly at it, or if it's right below you, you wanna try to get comfortable in a way that's fit for you. Now I'm left-handed. So I like, to, I like to draw with the left hand, but then I have access to my mouse with my right hand. So if I wanna go and select something else, or if I wanna go and add a new layer um, to what it is that I'm working on, it's really convenient to me to be able to do this type of stuff with my right hand with the, the mouse, left hand with the pen, okay? So that would be the first thing that I would recommend. Okay, uh, what happens if you're right-handed? Maybe you wanna consider putting the mouse or if you have access to a trackpad, get that on the left side and then you're doing this thing where you're drawing with your right, mousing with the left hand and then of course you're using your left hand to deal with the keyboard, okay? All right, so in this segment, what I wanna do is to get nice and organized. So on the desktop, what I'm gonna do is right-click with the mouse and I'm gonna scroll down to where it says new and what I would like to do is to create a new folder. I'm gonna title that folder with my name, Tony Lockhart, you can call it whatever else you want and I'm gonna press enter. When you double click that folder and open it up, you have the option to go and add new folders and here's how I'm gonna organize all my work for the semester. So I'm gonna title the first one VizDev for visual development because uh, maybe I'm gonna use that references and other types of images that I paint. I'm gonna put that there. Let's make another folder. Let's call this portfolio because the final exam is gonna be a portfolio. So periodically throughout the semester, I'm gonna put stuff into there so I don't have to worry about it later. Let's make another one. Let's call this SVP for Storyboard Pro, Storyboards. And then let's get one last one. I'm gonna right click new folder and I'm gonna call this Harmony Animations. All right, in this segment, I'm gonna talk about using the layer menu. Layers are really, really convenient when you're trying to do your digital art. And part of the reason is, is because it gives you control over what's on the artwork. Now, here's an example of how uh, working without layers is not gonna be beneficial. So I'm gonna just draw something like this, and then I'm gonna go and press X to get the red color. And then I'm gonna fill this and then if I make a mistake or something and I, I cross out and I go over the lines, then I have to erase it. You can see as I zoom in, I don't have any control over that. So I'm gonna have to go back and color that in. You can see some of the red underneath, okay? So let me hide this layer. And instead, what if I did something like this? I'm gonna put the topmost layer, I'm gonna use black, and I'm gonna go and fill this shape, or I'm gonna create some kind of a shape and then underneath it, I'm gonna go and choose a different color. And I can use these really nice broad strokes to go and fill and color all this in. And I can paint very freely with it. Then I could flip this over and I could just erase out the stuff that I don't want. And look at how the outline is still there. And you'll see when you get really advanced with your digital painting, there's lots of things you can do because you've isolated just the outline. You've isolated the fill. And there's a lot of good things you could do. Uh, all right, so now that we're in a situation where we can actually get down to business, one of the recommendations I always make to a beginning artists and emerging artists is that you should go and explore a lot of the different tools. So I love using shortcuts. I use the brush tool all the time. And this is the one I primarily use to be able to go and paint with. So the shortcut for that one is the letter B. So if I'm doing something like, if I make some kind of a selection, press enter and I do a control T to transform. Okay, do this or hold shift and I can kind of stretch things out, rotate them as needed. Okay, once I'm done, I'm gonna use shortcuts. So I need to deselect that. So I'm gonna do a control D to deselect. Notice I'm still on the same tool. You could see it right here off to the left, but you can also see the tool with the cursor. 
I'm gonna just press B for brush, and then now I can get back to business and continue with my drawings. A lot of times I like to use the other shortcut, which is the letter X. So I'm gonna just click and choose a color in this color picker. I'm gonna press the letter X, and what that does is it swaps the color, and then let me just choose something else like this green. So let's pay attention to this area over here, and I'm gonna, on the keyboard, I'm gonna press X a bunch of times, and you're gonna see it swap. So it's really helpful because I could just be coloring, press X, and color, press X, and color, press X and color. It's like really, really helpful. Or if I'm doing something like this, I can go and press X and get my, my general line work down. And then when I'm ready, I can press X and then I could do some of the details and draw this character over my light sketch. It's a really quick way to work because you know sometimes if you know you're gonna just use two colors, it will save you a lot of time to just press X so you can do certain things like shading so you don't have to go all the way over here change it to black and then do something then go all the way over here change it back to red all right so now that we're done with the getting started portion let's just quickly review some of the concepts we covered you want to get nice and comfortable um, when you're going to do digital painting every 20 minutes you should take a pause stand up move your body and try to get nice and comfortable again and just kind of get the blood flowing because you don't want to sit down in front of the, uh, the screen for three or four hours. It's just not healthy. Um, you want to get organized. So you want to make sure that you are going to be able to have all of your stuff and save it in the right area. So that way you know where things are and you're not going to be frustrated somewhere down the line. Um, you want to work with shortcuts. You want to make sure that you know, um, you know, if you want to move something over, uh, let, let's just say you select something like this and you decide to cut it or move it or something like that. Um, you want to, instead of going to this menu to deselect, instead of doing that, you would just do a control D to deselect or a control Z to undo. Um, control D to deselect, B for the brush. Okay, and finally, the last suggestion um, in this video is you want to work with layers. You want to be able to isolate your artwork. So, for instance, you can kind of turn things on and off as you see fit. Feel free to add additional layers above and below because then that's going to give you a lot of control over the artwork that you're working with. All right, guys, I hope this video was helpful. See you in the next one.